The Frieden STW-10 is quite an accommodating machine in regards to number capacity. The main keyboard on the Frieden handles 10 digits at a time. If we don't need decimals, this allows the entry of numbers into the billions. Were we to do financial transactions, which are aided by the color coding of the keyboard, we would set the decimal point here and still be able to enter values into the tens of millions on the keyboard. The carriage can also be shifted manually. This allows compound entry of up to 19 digit numbers to be added or subtracted to the accumulator from the keyboard. The accumulating register is 20 digits. This accommodates all products that are a combination of 10 digits on the main keyboard and a 10 digit multiplier without overflowing. If we set the decimal place on the accumulator here for financial calculations, we can see there is capacity to show hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, millions, billions, trillions, and quadrillions. The current global economy as of the production of this video is under $100 trillion. So even more than 60 years after this machine was made, it could still handle some financial calculations at the current global scale, accurate to the penny, with room to spare. What if you want to work with numbers larger than the capacity of your mechanical calculator? This is a limitation you may face even with modern electronic calculators. If you have an Android phone, you can work with some incredibly large numbers. I was recently made aware of this by a video from Calculator Culture. Or you could use a website like Wolfram Alpha. But 60 or more years ago, you would have to supplement your mechanical calculations with a whole lot of paper notation. Unfortunately, I only have one camera, so I won't be able to capture both the calculator and hand notation simultaneously but I'll start by showing how I've laid out my note paper. I'd also like to point out how annoying it is that graph paper doesn't line up correctly when you tape it together, and the two pages are always slightly offset. I'm using the spreadsheet function on one of my other calculators to randomly generate two 22-digit numbers, which I'll write down in the blue boxes in the top left, and I'll be calculating the product of these. While 11 digit numbers is enough to exceed the entry registers and show my methodology, I thought it would be fun to start with values that exceed the machine's capacity in every way. You can see I'm also breaking the numbers up into smaller groups of either six or four digits. These are numbers that the calculator can work with and it's much easier to keep everything organized when broken down like this. I then arrange the numbers into the vertical stack of boxes along the left. This is the order of operations for the multiplication I'll be doing, and I'll check them off with the little red box once I verify the entry and fill in the result to the right. Then it's just a matter of doing the entries into the calculator and recording the results. You can see that I can verify the entry by confirming the state of the main keyboard, which I have set to be retained between operations, and I check the number in the count register to confirm the multiplier was entered correctly. I've placed the decimal markers along the accumulator to mark the six digit groupings, so it's much easier to read and record the results.
Once all the multiplication is done, then it's a matter of adding the columns of numbers together. The rows are in line with the order of operations chart to the left. You can see that each multiplication after the first is shifted over one column, and I've placed some markers to help me keep track of the starting points. As I add up the columns of numbers, I can check the count register of the calculator to make sure I haven't missed adding a value. Then I record the results at the bottom and any carryover in the red box at the top of the next column. Now I have a final 44 digit answer and hopefully it is correct. We can quickly check to make sure because it's no longer 1956. Thank you for watching.